Hey guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my first ever video actually creating a look on here. So I decided to just do a simple video and do my everyday makeup routine. So right now I'm just going to show you guys a quick, just quickly show you guys how I do my makeup. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are interested. If not, sorry. But just let me know down below what other videos you guys want me to continue making. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just keep a short little simple intro and just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with the first step of my makeup routine. And it's back here. I usually just always put on some chapstick, put on some moisturizer. Right now I'm using the Cetaphil Pro pro oily skin moisturizer and I use this more because it has an SPF of 30 and it's really good to use sunscreen on your face even when there's no sun out because you're helping your skin I don't remember why but you're helping it <laughs> and my daily foundation routine kind of changes over time but right now I'm just using ever since like winter i've been using this one right here which is a l'oreal true match in the shade n4 and sometimes i feel like this might be a little too dark on me so i mix it with the uh, Too faced born this way in the shade wow that's really dirty in the shade warm nude so i'm just gonna basically dot this all around my face so yeah and sometimes well, all the times. I'm like late for class, last minute and all that. So I'm doing this makeup routine in like 10 minutes. Sometimes I don't do some of the steps, so yeah. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use a Morphe sponge that's also dirty and just blend everything out. And I was never a sponge kind of person, like I hated using sponges. But ever since I tried this Morphe one, I don't know what the difference I've never tried an actual beauty blender so I don't know if it's better than a beauty blender but I've used like different sponges here and there and this one is really I don't know I just like how it doesn't absorb everything if that makes sense like it doesn't absorb all my foundation so I just like how it blends everything out and yeah don't forget your ears don't forget your neck because you don't want to be two colors Okay, so obviously this is my first ever um, video that I post, like me talking. So I just want to know if anyone actually watches my videos. <laughs> I just want you guys to comment down below what other video ideas you guys would like me to do. I have some ideas that I would like to do, but I don't know. I could always take more suggestions. It's just nice. And I'd like to post what people want to see. Um yeah okay now that my foundation is on and i look pale we're gonna put on some concealer and i'm using the instant age rewind and i'm just gonna apply it in little triangles under my eyes um i just really need this because sometimes i don't sleep at all <laughs> and i need some concealing so yeah just apply that and then i use my same sponge and just blend it all out concealer's done then I quickly move on and I used bronzer actually. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I love this bronzer. It smells amazing. So I, I'm using the shade medium. I'm just going to take a bronzer kind of brush type of thing and I am just going to apply it. And I love bronzer so I might apply too much but I really don't care. So I know I don't have a big forehead, but I still apply it on my forehead. I know it's bad, but like I said earlier, I don't care. Um, yeah. I s usually start it from back here and then I move forward a bit, but not all the way down here because then it looks too bad. And then I do like basically the three type of thing because we want to fake that we don't have a double chin even though I do 
Okay, and then that we're kind of bronzed, I actually get a, just to make my eyes pop a little and not look too pale, I use that same bronzer and just a blending brush and just put it on my crease. I just, it, you probably can't tell but it makes a little bit of a difference, just gives you some depth, depth in your, depth, oh my gosh, it just gives you some color in your eye. But yeah, after that, I'm pretty much done with that. Then I'm going to go and do powder because I'm feeling a little sticky. So I'm using the translucent, the Airspun translucent powder. And I am hoping not to spill this. Okay. I'm taking my Morphe sponge again. And I'm using this side, the flat end of it. And I'm just basically applying it everywhere that I put on concealer. So under my eyes. And... It looks like I apply a whole bunch, but I dust it off afterwards, so it's okay. Um, and I'm just applying some under my eyes, applying some on my forehead, and then just doing that following that line down my nose, the bridge of my nose. And then I'm also doing it on the sides of my nose. Whoa, that is a lot. Okay, that's going to be coming off down the sides of my nose because I get really oily right here I look crazy and then I'm just gonna do like a line type of thing and I'm not a big fan of like baking it for a long time so I just basically do the line and then brush it off almost right away but not exactly so yeah I look like this in the mornings <laughs> um, this is how I look every morning guys then I go ahead and just take off my forehead powder because I want to do my brows while I bake that. So yeah, I usually just, I'm going to take some off from here because that's too much. Okay. Now I'm just going to do my brows while I wait for that. I usually just do my brows and I am using the Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. And yeah. I was thinking of doing a brow tutorial, how I do my brow, like a brow tutorial. So let me know, like this video, if you guys want me to go ahead and make a video like that. Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, I actually go ahead and just remove the rest of the powder with this brush, with a big fluffy brush, and I make sure to... Just remove everything well because we don't want powder on our faces showing too much. Okay, we are almost done with the everyday look. Next, I actually go ahead and do my mascara. So I use my Revlon Curling Eyelash Curler and I just curl my lashes. Okay, and then I go in with my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, which is kind of one of my favorites. And my favorite drugstore one. And I just apply it. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and highlight. Okay, I don't highlight every day, but it's part of my everyday makeup routine, if that makes sense. But I just go ahead and take a setting spray, whichever. I use the Morphe setting spray, which I really love. And I just set my whole face and then after that I take my Makeup Revolution highlighter palette and I take sorry that was my phone um, and I take just a brush and I just apply them on the tops of my cheekbones I just highlight I don't highlight every day like I said but sometimes I want to and that is today Next, I'm done with highlight, done with everything. My last step is just to apply something on my lips sometimes. I usually just put some Carmex on, but today we're going to add some Fenty Beauty lip gloss just so they just have something on. Let me just shake off my hair. But yeah, this is my everyday makeup look. Okay, so that is it for my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a quick little video, but I just wanted to just make it, you know, for fun. Um, I'll be making a lot more videos, hopefully. I'll try to upload once a week if possible. If possible.
possible. I am a college student, so I don't know when if I can do that, but I will definitely try. So yeah guys, please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload and just let me know more videos that you guys would like me to do. Um, I really enjoyed filming this and I will be recording new videos soon just to get my channel started and everything. Um, yeah, share with your friends give it a like, all those things that every YouTuber says. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in my next video. Bye!